Hey guys, it's Jennifer and Billy, and we are here from Beauty and the Brawn Repurposed. And we're here with a haul today. Today we um it's a Thursday, and we decided to go um do a little bit do a little bit of thrifting. We went into two different thrift stores. I went into one, and Billy went into one, and we went in with the guidelines <laughs> that um. We each had our rainbow Ikea bag, which they hold a lot. You know how much they hold. So, the guidelines were, it has to fit in your bag. Has to be on sale. Is that it? Is that the only two guidelines? No shoes. No, that was the guideline. <laughs> um, fit in a bag, has to be on sale. That's it, right? Pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. Well... Mine all fit in my bag. Mine would have. The lady at the counter held the bag for me. That's the only reason. I could roll those up and throw them in that bag. Mm -mm. And um, we both broke the sale rule. <laughs> but I only broke it on like little stuff under $3. I only broke it on everything but one item. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so... Um, I did really, really good on sale items, but then again, I had a lot more on sale. Billy only had one color tag on sale, yeah. and I had four color tags on sale. So, that kind of plays into it as well. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to back and forth um, one piece of our haul each, and if we've done any research on it, we might say a little bit about it as well. So, V, I'll let you go first. Cool. This is my favorite, well, it's probably my favorite item. It's an Avengers... Lunchbox. You it's, see that it's monogrammed, right? Where? Right there. Will. Oh, I did not see that. But it's okay, it blends in kind of. But it's Pottery Barn Kids oh. and, and Marvel Comics, so I mean. So hopefully we'll find some kid named Will. We will find Will. <laughs> it could also where there's have, a Will, there's a way. It could also <laughs> have a patch put over it, so. Hey, where there's a Will, there's a way. You can put the Avengers logo there. Okay. So, this actually was a piece that I went back and forth on. At first, when I grabbed it, I thought it said Jam's World, but it's not. Um, so, it's this peplum top, chevron print, very crazy print, button up the front. It's by Ivy Jane with wooden buttons. And so, it was on sale for me. It is a size small, which, you know, I'm not too fond of. But comps are all over the place. They could be as low as 15, but it could be as much as 50. So, yeah. 35. It'd be my drinking shirt. <laughs> You'd never know if you spill or something else. So it's kind of <laughs> cool. I'm excited about it. <laughs> uh, what did I do first? That bag? I saw these right when I came in the door. We do really well with Tom's. And, I mean, these... They're an ankle boot, brown suede. They look like they might have been worn one time. I mean, the soles look brand new. They're wedges. Oh, wedges, but still an ankle boot, right? Yeah. And they're a women's 10. I mean, that's a very nice size. Just a little brushing and clean the bottom up a little bit and I mean, ready to go. So we're still in short season, oh, sorry, especially babe. around here in Texas where it was 98 in our, um, today with a heat index of 103. It's 130 uh, in our warehouse almost every day. So I grabbed these Women's Columbia uh, shorts, like hiking shorts. They are an 810 long. They're good color, good gray color. Um, so I think those will flip fast, actually. Uh, what else? We have our bags beside us and below us, so that's why we're kind of trying to sort at the same oh, time. Oh, I do have... Oh. It's another pair of Toms. Another wedge. I wish these fit me. I've got one right here. So it's got the... What is that again? I forget. Espadrill. Espadrill. That's right. Um, Dave, Tara's husband, he remembered how to say it. <laughs> Uh, these are a women's nine and a half, so still a really nice size. These two look like they've been worn maybe a few, a handful of times. Since they're going back. Yeah, it's got dirt, but we can get that out. Okay. It's like the girl that wears that 
shirt you showed when I wore these. <laughs> so the next thing I want to show um, at the... Um, I don't know what I want to show next. I'll just pull this out because I don't remember what it is. Okay, this is a Soma Live Loungewear. Okay, so I hear people talking about Soma brand all the time. And these, I did pay the, the full price for because they were the full price tag. This is a hooded uh, long sleeve tunic, maybe mini dress type thing. And it is navy blue and silver striped. I grabbed a couple of pieces of Soma because um, I want to try them because I hear people talk about them all the time. So these felt really soft and they're all three the same size. So if we get them up in our closet all at the same time, or our store all at the same time, somebody could possibly bundle all three items. I'm going to stick with the shoe category. This time we have a pair of men's. They're Clark's black leather, double monk strap. Very nice, very good condition. Another pair that may have been worn a handful of times. I mean, these soles are in great shape. No real scuffing or anything around the heels. Just a little bit of elbow grease and they're ready to be listed. So this next piece is the next piece of Soma wear. Again, it's also hooded. Um, and feel this, feel how soft this is. That's like the ones that you get. Yeah. yeah. So it is a long, like maxi length dress with a zipper all the way down. Um, it's kind of a hidden zipper because it's black on black, but long sleeve, super, super soft. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm going to do those all together and just like run through them. Your turn. You grab these items. Should I give them to you? In a minute. Um, let's go with this because we had another one very similar. This is a fuel belt. It's a women's running belt made to hold water bottles. It's probably really good this. for like a marathon. Yeah, marathon. I mean, I would, I could see somebody that goes hiking, especially around here, taking it with them. Has a little pouch for, oh, sorry, a little pouch for anything keys. you may keys. Yeah, keys. A little, I don't know. You can fit your ID in there. So. Can't really fit an ID in there, so yeah. Back, back in the day, it would have been an MP3 player. <laughs> <laughs> this is the other Soma piece, and it is sleeveless, and it's just a little... I'm pretty sure this is considered a mini dress, but um, it's so super cute, so soft, and again, it's all size medium. So if you are a Soma wearer, and you wear a size medium, I found these on my way back to the electronics area. Going, going through housewares, electronics. It is a set. There are six of them. Warner Brothers, Maui. Uh, they're just drinking glasses, and they're dated 1999. The art is crystal clear. It looks like I need to try to. I don't know if you can use like alcohol to help you clean this type of plastic, but. Either way, I mean, the artwork in itself is just going to make this set sell. All six are in good shape. The next One item. thing Sorry. I have is a pair of linen blend shorts by J. Crew. Um, they are a size 10. They're a nice long length, so they would be good if you're still working at a um, actual place of business this right now or if you have a party to go to. But yeah, they're a linen blend, size 10. Um, yeah, and they're black, so they're cute. Okay. Here's another fun item. Stick with the Looney Tunes theme. Well, that one was Warner Brothers, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, it's still Looney Tunes. So, I came to an end cap at the end of the house goods, and it must have been somebody's whole collection of Oops, sorry. M&M's memorabilia and Looney Tunes items. 
And this was really cool. It's a 1998. It's a tin that I guess some candy may have come in at Easter or something. It's a Looney Tunes racing team. Acme Racing. 1998. What? I know, but I was trying to see if it... Oh, it says, says what came in it. It just says 10 box co. So it might have actually been at like the... Like a Looney Tunes store or at Six Flags or something yeah, like that. Be. And you could have filled it with whatever you want. True. Maybe. Cool item. People collect... Like maybe the same people will buy the cups and the tin car. So when I was finding the Selma plate pieces, those were all in the dress section. I happened upon two pieces that were by the same brand as well, and that is Lily Pulitzer. Now, they are not the typical Lily Pulitzer crazy patterns. They're actually like decent, just everyday patterns, I should, would say. So this is Lily Pulitzer pink tag, size medium. Oh, wow. Um, really cute A-line dress with teal and navy stripes, little cap sleeves. Um, my guess is this is probably all from the same person. I definitely would not have known that was Lily Pulitzer just seeing that. My turn again? Yep. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just grab, I think I got like six or eight hats. We can show one at a time. Six or eight hats. Their hats were $1.79 a piece. This one was on the floor. This was on the floor. It's a Super Bowl 38. I don't remember what year that was. I don't know. It's, it's Reebok um, showing the AFC and NFC teams, which, of course, the Patriots and Carolina Panthers. Uh, it wasn't too long ago. Probably 2013 or something. I, don't, I can't remember. I'm old. But it's in good condition. It doesn't it's look like it's ever condition. Worn. It doesn't really look like it's. It says it's NFL licensed in Reebok, but. I mean, I mean, we'll of course clean it, but it doesn't look yeah, like Yeah, we're going to clean it, but it, the, the patchwork doesn't look the best. So this next one is the second Lily Pulitzer, and it is just solid navy. Um, and so again, A line dress, sleeveless with the lace overlay on the top, or crochet overlay. Uh, big bold zipper on the back. So again, really nice, perfect for this time of year, but even into the fall as well. Here we've got a Chase Authentic. Some it's a visor. Jeff Gordon. Any NASCAR fans know that he recently re retired from the sport. I do not know if he's still mm -hmm. driving it. Uh, it's okay. A little bit of the embroidery is coming loose here, but other than that, I mean, it's in really good shape. Any NASCAR collector would probably like to add it to their collection. Okay. So the next thing is another dress. This is a Tommy Hilfiger dress in size 14, so it's a good size. Um, it's royal blue, and not only does it have the stripes on it that are the smocked kind, but it also has that lace overlay, that and it has pockets, so it's Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, I didn't hear that part. Um, so it's really cute. I like the cross in the front. And that cross is stitched down, so it's not going to come open on you. But pockets. <laughs> pockets, pockets are always nice, right? I like it when she has pockets. I don't have to carry all the keys. <laughs> Here we have Nike Golf. A nice. Oh, I'm always going out of the camera. So we've got the Nike logo there, the golf. What is that? VR. And then 2011. 11. Might be 20 XI. It's a golf ball, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not a golfer. But it is Nike Golf, large, extra large, flex fit. Needs some cleaning, but I have a special soup I put together for that stuff. So when we went to this place last time, I found a Lindy Bop dress. And if any of you are Rockabilly, you know that Lindy Bop is a big name in Rockabilly and um, pinup couture type dress. And so I found this dress. It's not Lindy Bop. It's a different brand. And I was like, it gives me those vibes. So I looked it up. The brand is called Heart of Hot, H-A-U-T-E. And it's a 2X, so it's a good size. Um, and it just gives me... Those pinup girl vibes, really kind of a retro print. It's just cute, and it still has the belt with it. Nice. 
um it doesn't have pockets but <laughs> um like it's got that really full skirt and comps were good comps were 30 to 50 nice. for this size it's very nice for a lightweight dress yeah it's very lightweight so it's a good summer dress or south dress so i guess i'm still going through one at a time on the hats you mean like two or three <laughs> We got a navy and royal blue RBCA to snap back. Isn't RBCA like a VCR brand? It's no, I don't think so. I don't remember what it stands for. That's bad. I should know that. Um, just got a navy and royal blue snap back. A lot of folks would just like to wear that as skaters, I guess. I don't know. Uh, also got a fitted. These are the Huh? Oh, that's cool. These are the custom New Era designs that you can get at different shops. Um, like Jennifer and I went to New York City and they had like a plethora of custom designs. <laughs> They're pricey. This one's pinstriped all around. Star logo there and then they've got the whole Astrodome logo in the back. It's a large size. Hey, that's in my head. It's the Cooperstown Collection. And it's seven and seven eighths. Oh, it's in my head. So, I mean, you got room there. And I have another custom New Era. <laughs> it's kind of strange. I keep going the opposite way. It's a Texas Rangers custom, but the Texas logo is that of like the Longhorns, the burnt orange, and then it's like a. Brown right. and camel. Yeah, brown and camel. Got the MLB logo on the back. It's Let's also got Texas custom embroidered under the bill. And this one is a 7 and 5 eighths. So That's still a larger size. Be kind of loose on me, but a nice custom one. Clean those up and turn a decent little profit on them. We're saving our best item for last, right? Best item for the, our best that each of us got? Yeah. Um, or did you already show yours? I don't know. All of mine are awesome, so. <laughs> okay, so when I was at the checkout, um, I found these new in package Spanx uh, pantyhose. Spanx a lot. <laughs> they are a nude <laughs> size C all the way Spanx, tummy to toes, full length hose. I scanned them on eBay and they were doing well. So I grabbed those. Um, this next item I grabbed for our uh, athletic wear lots, and it is a pair of uh, B Up. I've never heard of the brand, but it feels really quality brand pants. It's like, easy. this is better than some of my expensive uh, active wear pants, so I may need to look it up. But it is a size extra large. Um, and it's got a flip yoga band uh, waist. So. I may have to look this one up, but it probably will be going in our athletic wear lots. Um, I'm going to show you this because I got this for us, actually. <laughs> so Sucker's gonna many of you know we have four dogs. So we have three dogs, and then we have our new puppy, who is he was 11 weeks this week. He is a McNabb Australian Shepherd mix. Handful. He is very active. Very, very, very active. He's actually so, not a handful. He's a good dog. This little uh, tennis ball launcher, you step on the little football thing and it launches the tennis ball for the dog to go grab. <laughs> and it says it can make the tennis ball fly up to 100 feet. Well, that's pretty much the entire backyard. Yeah. If you're um, on one side or the other. So Tucker loves to go bring sticks to us, so maybe we can train him to bring balls to us instead. I'd much rather... Well, he shreds sticks. He brings them in the house and shreds them. He chews them up and, like, swallows a bunch of the pieces. Yeah. So, and I got that for them. That's not good for his digestive system. <laughs> this one, uh, this hat, is actually my size. I joked with Jennifer that I would wear it as my warehouse hat because I am the real G. <laughs> But what anyway, I'm not sure. It's probably like a local high school, maybe Granbury or I don't know. Okay. Because it's not like Georgetown University or That's anything. That's what I thought at first. No, it's Georgetown. not their logo. 
It's by uh, Q3 Technology Outdoor Cap. It's a seven and three eighths flex fit. Feels pretty thick. Nice hat. And then I got the brand Kugi is known for their sweaters. Well, here we have two. Oh, sorry. Two caps that are designed by the. What is that? Like a. That looks like a mermaid. I don't know. It looks like a Perhaps. mermaid. Well, we've got this, the got same it. design in teal and one in black. It's brown, B. Or brown. It's got the Kugi okay, logo embroidered like on the back. To me. And these are both. Is that one of seven and five eighths? Yep. They're both seven and five eighths. One's teal, one's brown. Got all the embroidery. Yeah, it looks like she's a mermaid in and the ocean, but there's her scales. It's got some nice design. You know I mean, it's, it's stitched all over. So, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and show you my best, what I think is my best item. So, this, new with tags, um, I had to take like a triple look That's on the this same one. Place I found the rain spoon with. Um, mm -hmm. this is Madame LaFleur, size 16, um, navy blue, just shift dress, three quarter sleeves. So it's pretty, just a basic shift dress. It does have pockets. Um, it feels really nice, heavy duty material. That's what I was going by, was feeling the material. Um, it is Mount LaFleur, New York. It's a size 16. I think I said that. I'm trying to figure out what it's made out of because it's heavy so did duty. He just, did he drink too much? Is that how Matt wound up on the floor? I have some really lame type dad jokes. It's a polyester spandex <laughs> mix. So, I mean, it's not too crazy, but um, it did used to have a belt. It has belt loops. But those can be easily taken off. So, I'm not sure. Um, when I looked up price ranges for this new with tags it can go anywhere from 45 to 60 so mm -hmm. this right here i like this is how i like to thrift i like to find one item in that i thrift that will pay for the whole lot of stuff i get and this will pay for my whole purchases for the day because i only spent 60 dollars i didn't spend any money bbr did uh, so the next thing i found was and the only reason I knew what this was because I've sold this before, this brand before, and I was just happy to not oh, see it marked up. Told me about. Um, so if you have ever seen this little logo, um, it is the Aviva logo, which is the kids line of Lululemon. So this is a size eight Aviva um, pants. They're cute. They're soft. Um, they were not half price. They were full price. I cannot believe that you spent almost four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but while I was looking at those, literally right next to it were three pair of Athletic Girl in the same size. So this is Athletic Girl size medium, eight ten, um, in this gray color with this fun and funky, like braiding on the side. Did YouTube allow you allow you to drink on there? I wouldn't. Um, and this is another pair of Athletic Girl Medium 810. And these are kind of cool how they're soft in the center, but then they're like this thermal print on the side. And they're joggers. Um, nice. And then this is the last Medium 810. And it is gray with that pink striping. And it has a little cinch thing like right here. And it says Dream Crazy Big. Nice. Um, I like your black and white. I have a pair like this actually. Um, and we're probably going to lot all three of these together since they're the same size, knowing that a person. Oh, and they have pockets. I like leggings with pockets. I mean, who doesn't want pockets while they're working out? <laughs> so those are probably all three go together. And then the Aviva is sold separately. Keep your protein bar in your pocket. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, so I let the bag area distract me a lot today. And, I mean, this is a very nice canvas utility bag. 
It's embroidered with the Iowa Hawkeye logo. Uh, it you could expands. Use it. Yeah, it expands. I mean, a laptop bag, a, a merch, if you will. It's got double straps here. But it's fine. Oh. Anyhow, you get the idea. It's, it's a messenger bag. Messenger bag, that's what she said. So, recently in one of our um, bulk palettes that we got, we ended up with a lot of girls' leotards. And when I was doing research on them, I learned that they actually are sought after. So, while I was waiting on him, because <laughs> I've already spent an hour in the thrift, and he was still going, and he had told me he was only going to spend 20 minutes in his, and then he's going to come over and meet me. There were so many bags. Um... And again, I was still going through the kids section. I happened to find a lot of the GK brand um, leotards. So GK mm -hmm. and GK Elite. So I'll have to look up on each of them. But I'm going to show them to you. So there's this one. Um, I think there's three of one size, child medium. Or there might be four child mediums and two adult small. This one, it's a racer back. <coughs> this one is velvet. This next one, it's velour. It's velvet. I don't know. And I know that that means different things in the different levels of the leotards. This one's kind of funky. Funky, funky. And then here is another one. So the funny thing is, I found all those at the thrift store I was at. But then when I went over to the thrift store he was at, I found two more. Um, so this one is like a leopard print in pink, white, and gray. And this one, I have never seen one like this in the stores. So I was kind of excited about this. Sorry. It is long sleeve and velvet. Um, and these are all GK. So I'm excited to look into these and learn more about these because these are the brand that the Olympians wear. Um, yeah, this is GK Lee. And so they can go for a lot of money. I did not see the wear on this thing. I showed it to you. You showed me the wear? The one on the front. So just put it to the side. Well, I, like I said, I would keep it for myself if need be. Oh, sorry. Okay, here's a good one. This one is cool. This, L.L. Bean, right? Yeah, L.L. Bean. And it is... Will you describe it so I can hold it up? It's a sling awesome. backpack. So it is... It has the extra strap. But it has this just to go cross body. Um, but then you could also hold it by the satch, the thing too. It velcros, but it also clips. It has lots of oh, pockets. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and it's huge. This yeah, is like an ideal space. college backpack or uh, even yeah, a carry on. Clean up the velcro. Like, this would be or great the, for a carry on. The, the hook and loop needs to be cleaned up some. So. But yeah, it's L.L. Bean. I mean, it's got a little bit of dirt. A little dirt never hurt. Oh, it comes off pretty easy on this, yeah. this material as well. So, where are the other pair of shoes? Right here. So, also when I went over to him, I, you know, I was looking, um, and I found these shoes. And I was like, these look like pretty quality shoes. These are the first ones I found. So, let me look them up. So, I don't know if you've ever heard of these shoes. Let's see, where's the brand? They're Jambu, um, and they're like a little winter boot for girls. And at, at our Goodwill, kids' shoes are four dollars. Yeah, three ninety nine. And these should sell for twenty five to thirty. Um, so I thought they were really cute. Not the right season, but they sold recently for that price. So even if I list them and I have to hold on to them for a while, um. There's not much cleaning. I know. To do on this one, they're they're pretty clean. Uh, it, I, I don't still run over them. I, I'm not thinking the kid may have ever worn them outside of the house. Oh, what? Why are you gonna dump it on me? 
<laughs> There's a treat inside. <gasps> Is it another payday? No. No. Don't fade. It's a it's little lightsaber. Hey, I'll eat it. And then the other pair of shoes that I found, and these do need a little bit of cleaning. But I was just like, okay, these look Life different. Lifesavers from 1997. <laughs> than just like regular ring boots. These are called Igor. Um, and yeah, they're just different. They're a size 20, made in Spain. Cool. But they cinch up at the top. Very interesting. They kind of look like little kids hunters, but just cute. And so, yeah, there's a little bit of cleaning to do on that one. Um, and not well on both of them, actually. But other than that, I think we saw these recently sold for right at 20. Mm -hmm. So $4 to 20 for a couple of cute pictures and a little bit of scrubbing. Not bad. Scrubbing. Scrubbing. So we were about to head out of the store and I was digging through the hat area still. Found Jennifer a Warby Parker glass case because she never has a glass case around. So that was just for Jennifer. But then in the same area, I found this nice wool, it's a bucket hat, is that what they call mm -hmm. it? And it is by J. Crew. It's a medium large. And what is that, hound tooth? Is that what they call it? No, mm -hmm. Oh, it is? Hey, I got it right. Hound's tooth. Oop. Wool bucket hat. I can keep it on the camera. I don't have anything else. You don't have anything else? Mm -hmm. I only have one more item because that one doesn't. Oh, there's another tin. You want to do the tin? So, another Looney Tunes tin that features so. a bug bunny. Um, it's, it's like a real. It film says reel. not for food use, so I don't. I wonder what there's came a ticket, in this. There's a ticket of some sort, like a. Looney to thank you for purchasing a quartz watch. Oh, it had yeah. a watch in it. Cool. Interesting. There was an M and M that had underwear in it, but I didn't grab it. The underwear were gone. Don't worry. Okay, so my last item, which I it may fetch the most. I don't know. It may be that item that was my best item. It is California Pack. Ugh, oh, can you see the logo on there? Mm -mm. There you go. And it's a multi-use duffel. I mean, it's got upwards of 12 pockets, probably. Tons of space on the inside. The zippers are very high quality. They've got they all a dead body in there. They all have their pull tabs. I mean, very well made. I looked at comps, and I mean, they were kind of all over the place. I never saw one with this pattern. <laughs> she sold it to you for five. Oh. Uh, I never saw one with this pattern. They were all solid, and they were going for like anywhere from 25 to 35, 38. So. Could be a nice flip. And that? Yes. That's all I've got. So that's our two hauls today. Um, we went to two different thrift stores. He went to a Goodwill and I went to an independently owned thrift store. Honey hole. It is our honey hole. Except somebody <laughs> did out us on Instagram. They're like, I was just there this morning. Oh, and by the, by the way, I wish Goodwill could keep all their shoes in one place. I found a nice pair similar to the Clarks that I had. It was a um, double monk strap Allen Edmonds. That looked like they were only worn once. And there were two pair Joseph Seibel. Yeah. Joseph Seibel. Very nice dress shoes. One brown, one black. I wish I could have found the other black and the other brown. We would have had two, well, three nice Yeah, he only found one of each three yes. pairs. So that is how our bins, we and think, I mean, get single sometime. Because they're like, well, well, people just bring them around the place. And I'm like, I don't clean up. Those three <laughs> pair of shoes would have paid for our next three trips. But. So, but we thank you for tuning in, and if you have any comments, leave them down below. Give us a like, and hey, if you kind of like what you're seeing, we would love for you to subscribe, as our goal is to put out one new video a week at this point, um, as we start uh, implementing this into part of what we do here with Beauty of the Brawn. So, hope you have a great day.